Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth episode of Mule Bytes. In this video, we will explore the security capabilities of MuleSoft and also learn how to build a secure integration infrastructure with MuleSoft. I am Shita Saman, Senior Developer Advocate at Salesforce. With that, let's get started. When we are building a composable integration infrastructure, a lot of external and internal end systems are involved. We are also dealing with API and data is exchanged among the systems. At such times, security can often be neglected or there might be some loopholes. So before diving into the security capabilities of MuleSoft, let us first understand what are the key aspects that we need to consider for building a secure integration infrastructure. Firstly, trust no one and always verify. Irrespective of the persona, it could be a CEO, or developer, or customer, or anyone. You have to first authenticate and authorize and only then allow access to the resources. Second, lease privileges and by default deny. So by default, we're going to deny access to all the resources. And only once the entity is authenticated and authorized, we are going to give them access to limited resources based on their role. Basically, minimum resource. Third, full inspection and visibility across all the end systems. As we know, we're dealing with a complex system and there are a lot of end systems involved. There is a flow between from flow between different APIs and different end system, incoming outgoing data. So we need to ensure there is transparency between all the system. We have a 360 degree overview of all the incoming and outgoing flow. Also, we need to be very careful while we're logging our payload as it could involve some sensitive information. In this way, we can actually prevent misuse of data and information leakage. Lastly, centralized management system. In order to manage such a complex integration infrastructure and to implement security measures, we need to also have a one place stop or centralized management center where we can actually manage all this end system, all the APIs at one place. And you know what? All these four principles that we have discussed, the four elements, they actually constitute of the four key elements or four pillars of zero trust security model, which is a very popular security model. And now we'll also see how we can implement zero trust security with the help of MuleSoft security capabilities. Using MuleSoft, you can protect any Mule or non-Mule application throughout their life cycle. Firstly, at the design stage itself, you can ensure that your Conforming your APIs are conforming to the best practices, security design standards with the help of API governance. Then you can use MuleSoft's out of the box security policies to apply secure policies to your API, which are easy to configure. And you can also customize this policy as per your own requirement. Lastly, we also have secure API gateways, namely the Mule gateway and the Flex gateway with the help of which you can actually manage any Mule application or non-Mule application irrespective of where they are hosted and whichever language you have used to build them. Isn't it amazing? And that is not all. Apart from this, you can also secure application configuration properties to manage your system credentials. You can also use the cryptography module, configure a FIPS 142 certified environment, secure your flows with Spring Security, configure TLS cryptographic protocol, obtain access to protected resources using OAuth grant types, and configure Mule Secure Token Services. Now, let's head over to any point platform and review all the security policies, security configuration, and learn how to build a secure integration infrastructure. You are now on AnyPoint platform, MuleSoft's iPaaS tool for managing the entire API lifecycle. Let us now head over to API Manager. API Manager is like a one place stop for managing all your Mule and non Mule applications. No matter where your application is hosted, even if it's a non Mule application, you can still manage, govern, set security policies, alerts using API Manager. Let us now go to Fraud System API and apply a security policy. Here, we can add a policy and we can choose from different policies we have. You have several categories of policies like security, quality of service, compliance, transformation, and troubleshooting. Let us go ahead with some security policies. 
Here you can see multiple options including OR durability validation. We will now apply durability policy. Also, if you want to apply some custom policy, basically if you have any custom needs, you can also apply a custom policy. Let us now select durability validation and apply durability policy. In order to configure and apply policy to your API, you need to configure and fill out all these details. So basically you need to select your signing algorithm. In this case, it would be HMAC and your signing key length, your key origin and basically a 256 bit key, which is going to be your public key. So I have generated 256 bit key using a, a random 256 key generator. And that's all, just need to configure the properties which you have and you can just set them and apply. And your policy has been successfully applied on your application. Now, let us go ahead and validate our policy, which we have applied by triggering the API endpoint, then writing a 400 pad request as it requires a token. Now, let us go ahead and generate the token. In order to generate token, we need to enter 256 bit key, which we have copy pasted in the API manager. We'll be copying the same key here, the random generated key, and a token is generated. Now, let us copy paste this token and enter in a postman. We'll be entering the bearer token and triggering the request again. And voila, we have got the response. So that's how easy it was to configure policy and authenticate. We have covered all the security offerings by MuleSoft. And I'm also listing down a few resources that might be helpful while you're building your first secure integration infrastructure. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and like this video if you found it helpful. And you can also check out the entire MuleBytes playlist to supercharge your skills. Thank you for watching.